Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vamangi Goswami. Today I would like to discuss about our new topic, Purines and Pyrimidines. This topic comes under Gujarat University BSc Chemistry Semester 5 Syllabus and Paper Number 301, Unit Number 4B. In this part of video, we will only discuss about the synthesis of purines, adenines and guanines. So let us begin. Now let us first understand what are purines. Purines are heterocyclic aromatic organic compound. They are nitrogenous bases that make up the two different kinds of nucleotides in bases in DNA and RNA. The two carbon nitrogen ring bases adenine and guanines are purines. Here adenine and guanine are derivatives of purine but while purine is a basic moiety. Fisher gave the name purines to cyclic diorides in which pyrimidine and imidazole rings are condensed. Here, in this structure of purine, there are two ring structures present. One ring is six-membered pyrimidine ring, while another five-membered ring is known as imidazole in heterocyclic chemistry. So, the structure of purine here is a mixture of two ring structures, that is six-membered pyrimidine ring and five-membered imidazole ring. Here, the numbering can be done in a normal way to get the minimum number to the nitrogen atom. So we are starting here number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So now here we will study the synthesis of these three structures purines, adenine and guanine. Here is the structure of purine and adenine and guanines are the derivatives of this purine. Here, adenine is 6 amino purine. At 6th position, amine group is present in purine. So, 6 amino purine is known as adenine, while 2 amino 6 hydroxy purine is known as guanine. So, at 2nd position, amine group is present, and at 6th position, hydroxyl group is present. So, 2 amino 6 hydroxy purine is the structure of guanine. So, let us start purines first. Now we will study the synthesis of purine by Trobe's method. Trobe is a scientist who invented the synthesis of purine. Here he started with urea and ethyl cyanoacetate. Here urea has two NH2 groups. Here one of the NH2 group has lone pair of electron and which is attached to the carbonyl group of ethyl cyanoacetate. This carbonyl group leaves this molecule, this attachment. Here it is OC2H5 attachment. So OC2H5 will take up one hydrogen from urea and liberated as minus C2H5OH. One mole of ethanol is liberated. And here the nitrogen group of urea will be attached to the carbonyl group of ethyl cyanoacetate and forms this structure. Here in this structure, this is open ring structure after Reaction in presence of NaOH basic conditions, the ring closure takes place and one mole of ammonia gas is liberated and this structure will be formed. This is tautomers of this structure. In presence of nitrous acid, here at fifth position, nitroso group will be attached and after reduction of this nitroso group, an O group will be converted into NH2 group and diamino uracil will be formed. After fusion with urea, this structure will form another ring structure. Uric acid will be formed. Here, uric acid will continuously tautomerize to form three hydroxyl groups. So, after tautomerization, it will form three hydroxyl group and after reaction in presence of POCl3, it all the three hydroxyl groups will be converted into Cl groups. So 268 trichloropurine will be formed. Here 268 trichloropurine in presence of HI at minimum temperature 0 degree Celsius, it will converted into two iodo groups. So second and sixth group chlorine will be replaced by iodine groups. So 2,6-diiodo, 6,7-dihydropurine will be formed. In presence of zinc dust, H2O at higher degree Celsius, iodine will be liberated and forms a final purine structure. Here other derivatives of purines can be prepared similarly. Here R1, R2 are the group for derivation. 
in presence of formic acid here nh2 group at position number 5 nh2 amine is converted into nhcho after heating it will be liberated and forms a ring structure and one molecule of water will be liberated another method is reaction in presence of hcs2 na while here ch sh group will be formed and after reaction in presence of ch3 ona the ring structure ring closure takes place and forms another derivative of this purine structure now ethyl chloro formates to the diamino pyrimidine with purine derivatives we will get hydroxyl group at the 8th position on the structure here we have reacted it with ethyl chloro formates here nh2 group at 8th position is converted to ch3 co cnh group here on further reaction with this after heating the c2h5oh group c2h5o from this structure and hydrogen from the adjacent amino group will be liberated as one ethanol moiety and lone pairs of this nh2 will be attached to the carbonyl carbon of the another nh2 groups so here the ring closure takes place and we get the structure like this and which after tautomerization gives us 8 hydroxy purine the another way is the reaction or boiling with kncl potassium cyanide and this will again attach as ch3ch2o that is c2h5o and further heating will again liberate one molecule of ethanol over here and ring closure takes place which further after tautomerization forms 8 hydroxy purine now let us start with synthesis of adenine we have seen earlier adenine is derivative of purine it is 6 amino purine so let us start with our first method that is to start with the starting material 268 trichloropurine here at position number 2 6 and 8 chloride groups are present so the first thing is to convert chloride at the 6th position to amino groups in presence of c2h5oh and aqueous ammonia so 6th position chloride will be converted into nh2 groups after heating in presence of hi both the remaining chloride groups at position number 2 and position number 8 will be converted into hydrogen group so it will be liberated and form six amino purines that is adenine here another method can be used to for synthesis of adenine in this method dicyanomethane and thiourea can be used this method is invented by trobe in 1904 here these two structures in presence of c2h5o na will be reacted and forms a ring structure here in thiourea the lone pairs of nitrogen atoms will be attached to nitrile carbon groups so it will form a ring structure like this after reaction in nit in presence of nitrous acid and ammonium hydrosulfide it will form another amino group it will attach another nh2 groups at position number 5 so here at position number 5 of pyridine the nh2 groups will be attached in presence of formic acid this nh2 group at position number 5 will be converted to nh cho groups and in presence of sodium salt at 250 degree celsius here this two lone pairs of nitrogen will be attached to this carbonyl group and the ring structure ring closure takes place and the last thing is to remove this sulfur in presence of hydrogen peroxide will give the structure final structure of adenine now bredrick in 1955 made the following improvements in the synthesis from this step he has reacted this with methyl iodide here after reaction methyl iodide the s will be attached with one more methyl group and converted into ch3s group further reaction in presence of nitrous acid hno2 and sodium dithionite na2s2o4 here at fifth position nh2 group will be attached 
further reaction in presence of formamide ring closure takes place here second ring will be formed now here the only step remains is the removal of unwanted branch in presence of nickel reduction takes place and forms our final structure of adenine now further todd in 1943 prepared six amino purines using formamidine and phenylazodine melononitrile here the lone pairs of electron of nitrogen will be attached to the nitrile carbon here again from this nitrile in presence of c2h5ona and c2h5oh the whole ring structures will be attached to this nitrogens further reduction in presence of rennie nickel at 100 degree celsius this whole azodyne groups will be replaced by nh2 groups converted to nh2 groups under pressure after this this nitrogen further reacted with this compound the carbon of which is attached to the lone pairs of nitrogen in presence of naoh basic condition this whole structure will be attached to the nitrogen while after boiling in presence of water the ring closure takes place and the final structure of adenine will be formed now let us see the synthesis of guanine for synthesis fisher in 1897 prepared guanine by using 268 trichloropurine 268 trichloropurine after reaction in presence of aqueous koh in 100 degree celsius the cl present at carbon number 6 will be replaced by oh groups further in presence of nh3 and c2h5oh the cl at carbon number 2 will be replaced by nh2 group and further in presence of hi at in presence of heat final structure guanine is formed guanine is nothing but two amino six hydroxy purine now another method of preparation of guanine is given by trouble in 1900 he has prepared guanine from guanidine and ethyne cyanoacetate here lone pairs of electron of nitrogen will be attached to the carbonyl carbon of this compound and here again another lone pair of electron will be attached to carbon of nitrile group in presence of c2h5ona ring closure takes place here this structure will be formed and after reaction in presence of hno2 that is nitrous acid and nh4sh the nh2 group at carbon number 5 will be attached further reaction in presence of hcwna and formic acid 